Hey, what's up everyone? This is Rakesh from motionstreet.com and welcome back to another exciting tutorial of After Effects. In today's video, we will take a look on how to create a very cool and flat background using only some shapes inside of After Effects and these animations doesn't require any kind of third party plugins at all. So now, it is the time to see the preview. So what you just saw in the preview looks very clean and minimal and also these kind of animations are pretty much popular nowadays. So without any further ado, let's quickly roll the intro and see how we can create our own custom backgrounds. So here we are back again in After Effects. Now let's start by creating a new composition and we will call it as BG underscore zero one because we are going to create two different kinds of background animation in this tutorial. Now for the dimension, I'm going to keep it as 1920 by 1080, which is full HD with 30 FPS and 10 seconds long with the background color as complete black. Now hit OK. Now you can either press Ctrl or Command Y on your keyboard or you can do a right click anywhere in this area in order to create a new solid and we will also call it as BG, hit OK. Now go to the effects and presets tab and if you don't see this tab right here you can always go to the window and make sure the effects and presets is checked. Now we will search in for effect which is called fill and drag it onto, onto the top of the layer and for the background color, I have a hex code which is 26, 23, uh, I mean 21, 33. Now hit OK. And we can also lock this layer up because we don't want to work with this layer anymore. Now turn on the title action save. Select the rectangle tool and try to make a perfect square by holding Ctrl and Shift at the same time. Like this and let's increase the stroke width to around 80 and for the color I have another hex code which is FFC007 now hit OK now first of all let's turn off the title action save now click on this arrow go to the add and we will add a repeater open the repeater one and increase the number of copies to around 20 now open the transform repeater one and first of all, uh, bring the X value of the position property all the way to zero like this. And then we will simply scale this down something just like this. And also if you want to scale this a little, we can also select the layer, hit S on our keyboard and zoom this like this. And before we proceed further with this animation, let me tell you that if you want to follow along with this tutorial, the entire project file is available to download from the link in the description. So make sure to check it out. And here comes the most interesting part of our animation because now we'll be animating our square. So what we have to do is you have to go to the repeater. So open the contents, open rectangle one, go to the repeater, transform repeater one, and we will be playing around with the rotation property as you can see on the preview window right so first of all we will rotate this to 45 degree and let's drop a keyframe and now go to around 10 seconds and we will rotate it in the anti-clockwise direction and with the value of minus 135 degree right now if you see the preview the animation would look like this right so moving on and also uh, we will use the offset right as you can see the this is what the offset does so first of all we will uh, set the value of offset to minus 2 and drop a keyframe go to around 10 seconds again and let's decrease the value to around minus 6 right and now let's see the final preview yeah that looks pretty awesome right 
and by playing around with the settings of repeaters you can create a number of different kind of animations ranging from simple to the complex ones. So yes, we are pretty much done with our first background and it only took a few simple steps to achieve this, right? Now let's quickly jump onto the second background and we will almost follow the same steps as of this one but with a little modifications here and there, okay? Now simply create a new composition by pressing Ctrl or Command N on the keyboard and we will call it as bg underscore 02 and we will keep the settings same as previous one. Now hit OK. Select the pen tool and the scale this down a little and we will make a straight line by holding shift like this and we will place this all the way to the left like so and then also a little left more I think yeah there you go now we need a background so we'll be copying the same background from the bg1.com so first of all just unlock this layer hit ctrl plus c or command c on your keyboard and paste this into the bg2.com right and we can also again lock this layer up then click on this arrow and go to add and we will add a repeater again now open the repeater one and increase the number of copies to around 30 then open transform repeater one and we will position this in order to increase the space between the lines i think 120 is the sweetest spot yeah this looks good to me now we just have to apply some effects onto the top of our layer to achieve the final output so simply do a right click go to the new and we will add an adjustment layer and let's call this layer first of all hit enter to rename the layer and we will call it as effects because it is going to hold all of our effects right so first of all so let's search in for a new effect which is called polar coordinates drag it onto the top of the layer and change the type of conversion to rect to polar and increase the interpolation all the way to 100 now again go back to the effects and presets and search in for effect which is called optics compensation drag it onto the top and uh, let's check these two check boxes first of all and we will then increase the field of view uh, to around something like this yeah now we will add another effect which is called twirl and drag it onto the top again increase the angle to 145 degree and let's finally add a final effect which is called transform and just double click to apply that effect and increase the scale to around 300 or so and then go to the twirl effect and add a keyframe at the angle of 145 degree and then go to around 5 seconds and we will increase the angle to around 200 now bring this endpoint somewhere here right and now let's see the final output and i think our second animation is now ready to hypnotize someone right away and yes we have achieved the same exact animations we were going for so yeah that's a wrap up for today guys i hope you really enjoyed learning these two simple animated backgrounds and if you really did then make sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you never miss any creative upcoming videos and if you also like reading articles then please do check out my blog thinkingtales.com and also follow me as motion street on instagram and i'll see you in the next video till then keep dreaming keep creating peace out